Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur. It's time for another exhaust video. Many of you know, if you've been following my channel, that about a year ago, I had my stock exhaust replaced with a Soul Performance valve exhaust and wired into the PSE button. So it now operates just like a factory Porsche Sports exhaust, but it sounds that extra little bit better because of the Soul Performance magic. Now, just recently, I installed the Soul Performance Performance Soul Performance Performance, the Soul Performance headers to go with the valve exhaust. And so in this video, I'm gonna be responding to a lot of questions people have been asking, what does it sound like? And how different is it from just having the valve exhaust system? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go check it out. So before we do anything, let's go and take a look under the car and uh, see what we're talking about. So here is the valved exhaust system. You can see, uh, where are they? Uh, there we go. You can see that there's a valve on this side, which is controlled by a little mechanism here. And there's another valve on the other side. Can you see that? Kinda. Maybe a better shot from here. Almost looks like a, uh, a little bell from you know a bicycle. Uh, so there's the, the valve exhaust system on the back. And then the headers are right here. These beautiful looking manifolds that connect directly to the engine. And we've got the, uh, my uh, gimbals all over the place, sorry. We've got the cats here, and then we've got the three pipes that connect into the engine, and, uh, and that's it. So, you know, the exhaust fumes come out of here, they run through the catalytic converters, they then go into uh, the mufflers, and the mufflers and the valve exhaust create that beautiful flat six sound and uh, give you that enhanced sort of aggressive growl that the Soul Performance exhaust system gives you. So that's what we put on. First off, I installed this section here at the back, the, uh, the valve exhaust, and then just recently at Eurocharge Minneapolis, put on the headers on either side. So let's go see what it sounds like. Does that even make sense? Let's go see and listen to what they sound like.
guys this is with uh, sports mode on and uh, of course the uh, the valves are open so driving along there's no drone inside the cabin let's give it a bit of a whirl just sounds awesome you can hear the uh, the pops and the gurgles and then we just you know kick it back cruising along this is where the headers and the valve exhaust and there's no drone no drone whatsoever i'm going speed limit i hear 55 60 mile an hour zone it's awesome it's really really awesome let's give it another kick <laughs> oh my god i love how it sounds now it's gonna kick it out of sports mode back into regular mode, valves closed. And it's just like a regular 911, you know? It's, uh, it just sounds exactly like the stock 911 without sports mode on, without the valves open. And I'm currently traveling at a speed which allows me to be at about 2000 RPM. So if I, uh, if I kick it up again now, you hear the valves open. But again, there's no drone no drone inside the cabin it sounds so good well that's it for another episode guys what do you think to me the really beneficial thing about this comparison is for all of those people asking if going and getting headers in addition to a valved exhaust is going too far the answer is no a lot of people are afraid that putting headers on is just gonna make the car obnoxiously loud and it really isn't hopefully from this video you got a sense of that in fact in many respects, it's really hard to tell the difference from the video between the valved exhaust and the stock headers and the valved exhaust with the sole performance headers. You know, admittedly, this video, it, it shows that. It is really difficult to tell. If you go back and play it again, I think as you hear the car accelerate through the power range um, where you see the increase in horsepower and the increase in torque on the typical curve, you know, sort of like 4,000, 5,000 RPM, that's where you notice the difference in sound, at least to my ears. Um, and you also notice the difference inside the cabin as well as outside the cabin. The best thing about this entire mod though for me is the way the car feels. When I got the valved exhaust, I didn't really necessarily feel like the car drove any differently. I didn't feel like I was getting loads of power, but with these headers, absolutely. I can feel the power, I can feel the throttle response improved with the tune as well. And those extra 25 horses or so, and that extra throttle response absolutely makes it worth it for me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This weekend, I've got more content coming. Oh look, <laughs> all the kid stuff is right behind me. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this weekend we got more content coming. Uh, I'm doing a exclusive VIP Porsche test drive event tomorrow with my friend Chris at Porsche in Minneapolis. Uh, I'm going to be taking out a Taycan. I'm going to be taking out a, uh, a 992. I'm going to be taking a look at what else they've got there. Um, I think there's a Carrera GT there at the moment with Martini livery across the top. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, we're also doing a Porsches and Pancakes drive. I'm going to be doing some mods uh, and maintenance or just maintenance on my 991. Um, and then next week, I should be live on the Michael Bath 
podcast on Porsche Cooled. Uh, I did the interview with him this week. That was a lot of fun. And uh, there are some other surprises in store as well coming up next week, including some news about Project 996. So have a great weekend with your families. Hope you get out in the car. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.